oftentimes it can be difficult to find the correct words to say to your children to make them really uh, begin to grasp the concepts of God and who they are and why they are on this earth. And you don't want to dumb down the story of creation or the gospel, but you also need to say it in a way that they can understand. So these are the resources that I use in my home to teach my children about God. And I am so glad that I found these because they have drastically changed um, the way that I have been able to teach my kids about God. So I'm going to share that with you guys today. I'll give you a peek into my very favorite book that is just worded exceptionally. This is Leading the Little Ones to God. And uh, I just love the way it's worded, Looking for God. This is a book about God. It is also about people and about everything we see all around us. But it is about God most of all. It is about God most of all because everyone should know God. God is very important. He made us. We belong to him. The whole world belongs to him. And the sun and the moon and all the billions of stars that twinkle far, far above us. All this belongs to him. Don't you think we ought to know him? We cannot see God. We see God's works. God talks to us. God sent his son. And uh, each page is just filled with the most beautiful, simply worded uh, text that does not dumb down the messages of God and Jesus in the Bible. But it says it in a way that a child can completely wrap their head around and understand. I absolutely love these cards from Tiny Theologians. This one is the ABCs of the Attributes of God. A is for all-knowing, and then on the back it will say um, a little bit about the topic, and then it'll, there will be a Bible verse at the bottom. B is for beautiful, C is for creative, D is for divine, eternal, generous, holy, and these are just a wonderful way to teach your children the attributes of God, who God is, and why he is so completely other than. These are also from Tiny Theologians. These are the Lord's Prayer cards. So each card has a little portion of the text. So the first one is Our Father, and then it says Think. Um, the Bible teaches us that God is our Heavenly Father. He loves us like a good dad loves his kids. Because God is our Father, we can talk to him about the things that are on our minds, things that make us happy. And then um, there's a Bible verse, or there's, sorry, there's a prayer at the bottom of each card. And um, so we can teach them how to pray as Jesus taught us to pray in the Lord's Prayer. So I think these are powerful. Um, and then there's a card that just has the whole Lord's Prayer on it. We love the We Sing Bible songs in our house. And Eden has the CD that goes along with this. But I like this little book that came along with the CD because sometimes I just forget all these little songs that I learned as a kid. And so this is just a great reminder of all the little cute songs that you can teach your kids. Because um, I know, you know, as adults, we don't always remember all of these. And my kids aren't in Sunday school or anything. So I love this. This is another great one that uh, doesn't dumb down the text, but um, says it in just such a wonderful and profound way. This is all the Psalms. When I listen to you, God, when I do what you ask me to, I am like a tree planted by a river, a tree full of fruit with leaves that are always green. Each one of these is wonderful. Um, we read a lot of these at night um, or during tea time. I always try to read at least one a day and just kind of ponder it together. I love this book. I think it was only $10, too. And by the way, I'm going to link all of these books and resources below in the description. 
This is another really sweet one. The illustrations draw kids into, I know my son will bring this one to me just because he loves the photos, and then I'll just read the prayers as we're looking at the photos. Um, but the, the prayers are really sweet, and some of these are great for memorization too. I know this one is a favorite for a lot of people. Um, this is God's great story of salvation. It's kind of like explaining the love story from beginning to end through the Bible. Um, the way that it's uh, described and presented is powerful. And the rest of this pile is really just to show you what I find at the library. So I'll always go to a few different sections in the library and I'll find these really great books that we'll kind of try out. Um, we found some really great ones, and um, The Biggest Story is great. This one's really cool. Um, it's definitely nice to switch it up sometimes. And then there's little books like this that are just, um, they're not scripture, but they are just um, presenting some really great uh, character traits or, you know, whatever it is. This one's such a beautiful book and really beautiful illustrations as well. Yeah, so next time you're in the library, um, definitely look to see what they have because you might find some gems and you can kind of just add it into your stack of books that your kids normally read. So even though this book is about resources and how you supplement your own language and how you teach your children about God, obviously you don't need to buy anything to teach your kids about God. So I just wanted to go over a few tips. And the first one is talk about creation. So when you're out on the walk or just going to and from the car, pay attention, notice things, and verbalize them to your kids. So you could say, you know, wow, look at the moon tonight. Did you know that God put that moon in the sky? Or look at those beautiful flowers. How creative God must be to think of all those colors. What's your favorite color that God created? The only way to teach children to pray is for them to see you do it. So always make sure that your children are seeing you pray. and You can pray with your children at mealtimes, at bedtime, and throughout the day when the opportunity presents itself and teach them how to give thanks, how to pray for comfort, rejoice in provision, and um, how to ask for blessings, or just to tell God about their day. Modeling is, above all, the most important thing we can do, modeling the love of Christ. And, um, you know, every day we're given new opportunities to reinforce the gospel and to show our kids how amazing our God is. So model the fruits of the Spirit. Show them how blessed it is to give without receiving anything in return. Um, let them see you working out your own salvation. Ask their forgiveness for when you make mistakes and give forgiveness to them graciously when they make mistakes, which will be frequently. And above all, model Christ's love um, to them and to everyone else that is around you.